Hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at current mobster Daniel Pagano. Pagano became a made man within the Genovese family in the late 1980s, which denoted his full membership. He ran businesses in the Bronx and Manhattan and was close friends with Genovese crime boss Dominic Quiet Dom Cirillo. Pagano's status was raised to captain after the detention of Genoese soldier Joseph Joe Glitz Galizia. In this capacity, Pagano oversaw the Pisacano brothers' management of the family's activities in East Harlem's gambling on numbers of games and sporting events. Pagano also owns stock in Third World Records, a New York-based record company that specializes in African and Latino music. After being named captain, Pagano took on the responsibility of representing the Genovese family in the gasoline bootlegging rackets. This plan, which was started in the 1980s by a Soviet Jewish criminal organization with a base in Brighton Beach, Brooklyn, and was directed by Murab Alagula, focused on fraudulent transactions involving substantial amounts of gasoline and diesel. The state of New York lost hundreds of millions in excise taxes as a result of these illegal operations. When the Russian criminal group organized ITSIA learned about this scheme, the New York Cosa Nostra families forced it to split its illegal gains with them. The families formed a partnership known as the Association to oversee this project. Within the association, Pagano and his trusted associate, mobster Anthony Palumbo, represented the interests of the Genovese family. Pagano stopped an attempted killing of a Russian mafia in late 1992 or early 1993. Palumbo's business associate and Russian mobster Victor Zilber had asked for Monia Elson, who worked for Zilber, to be killed. Pagano quickly declined Palumbo's request for his okay before the hit. He was worried that getting rid of Elson would cause serious problems with the organized ZIA. During the early 1990s, a sham fuel company was established by the FBI and the U.S. Internal Revenue Service, IRS, in Trenton, New Jersey, as part of an operation codenamed Red Daisy, which aimed to target the bootlegging ring. In February 1992, suspiciously, a fire destroyed the company's facilities. Shortly after the fire, an associate of the mob approached the owners of the company and demanded a mob tax in exchange for permission to sell the contraband gasoline. In September 1996, Pagano and Palumbo were formally charged with defrauding the government of $77 million in tax revenues. Pagano eventually pleaded guilty to evading motor fuel taxes in September 1999 and was sentenced to 105 months in prison. This incarceration resulted in Pagano losing control over many of his previous illegal operations, including the illicit gambling activities run by the Pisacano brothers. On May 12, 2007, Pagano was released from federal prison. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more character breakdowns and analysis of your favorite gangsters. See you in the next one.